Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the lecture session on uh, metal casting and uh, welding process. I am Anil Kumar MM, working as Aston Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Maharaja Institute of Technology, Mysore. Uh, in the previous class, we were discussed about the welding process, like uh, introduction about the welding and detailed classification of the welding process, and what are the terms used in the welding and then the principle of electric arc welding process. But in this session, uh, we are going to discuss the different types of the arc welding process. Okay, in this session, we are going to discuss the different types of arc welding process. Generally, the electric arc welding, in that electric arc welding process, the high intensity of the electric arc is generated by the flow of electric current. That electric arc temperature is very high. That high temperature, it melts the edges of the two metal pieces and upon cooling, we will get the strong solid joint. Okay. Uh, in the arc welding process, the heat source is the electric arc, it is nothing but the electric discharge. Electric discharge, it means the continuous stream of electrons is emitted from the two electrically conducting material, one is the electrode and then the workpiece material. The stream of electrons is continuously generated between the two conducting material, one is the workpiece and then the electrode. The electrode it forms the one pole of electric circuit and workpiece is forms the another pole of electric circuit. So when the current is supplied through that material, the suitable uh, AC or DC current is supplied through the electrode and the workpiece material and then you have to brought the electrode closer to the workpiece surfaces and then touched it and separate it by a small gap around 2 to 4 mm. At that time, the electric arc will be generated. So, electric arc is about electrical discharge. So, this R temperature will be very high. Due to high temperature, it melts the edges of the metal pieces as well as the electrode. So, this modern electrode is combined with the modern workpiece material. Upon cooling, we will get the strong solid joint. That is the principle of uh, electric arc welding process. Okay. Now, the first type of uh, electric arc welding is the flux shielded metal arc welding or the manual metal arc welding process. Manual metal arc welding is nothing but the welding process is carried out manually. Okay, the welding process is carried out manually by a human being, then it is referred as manual metal arc welding process. Okay, in the flux shielded metal arc welding process, the two workpiece to be joined, the two workpiece to be joined by the heat is generated by the electric arc. Okay, the two workpiece to be joined by the heat, it is generated by a electric arc will be struck between the flux coated consumable electrode. Okay, in this process we are using the flux coated consumable electrode. So, the two workpiece to be joined by the heat is generated by the, the flux coated consumable electrode and then the workpiece material. Okay, and the, the flux will be forms the gaseous shield and it protects the uh, Mortar metal from the atmosphere. So, the welding will be takes place. Okay, that is the principle of the flux shielded metal arc welding process. Okay, the electric arc will be struck between the flux coated consumable electrode and then the workpiece material, and that flux will form the gaseous shield and it protects the mortar metal from the atmosphere. Okay, uh, coming to the working, initially you have to take the two metal pieces. Okay, initially you have to take the two metal pieces and clean it, remove the dust particles, grease, oil etc. Whatever the present on the surfaces, just you have to clean it and position it with the, with the suitable gap. Okay. And next, you have to take the electrode. It is a flux coated electrode. Then the commonly used the flux material is one is the cellulose or iron oxide or uh, mica, titanium oxide. Okay. These are the materials is coated on the uh, metallic rod. Okay. That is called as the electrode. Okay. The flux is coated on the electrode. That electrode is rigidly fixed on the electrode holder and this electrode holder is connected to the negative terminal of the power source and the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal of the power source. Okay. Initially, you have to supply the AC or DC. The power source will be supplied through the material. Okay. The required current is supplied through the electrode and then the workpiece material. Okay. And then 
this electrode it is made up of same as the workpiece material or the same chemical composition of the workpiece material okay if you are melting uh, if you are welding the cast iron material means the electrode is made up uh, made up of the cast iron material okay the uh, electrode is made up of same as the workpiece material or the same chemical composition of the workpiece material and uh, the flux is coating over the electrode and this electrode is rigidly fixed on the electrode holder and this electrode holder is connected to the negative terminal of the power source and the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal of the power source okay initially the suitable ac or dc power is supplied through the electrode and the workpiece material okay just you have to brought the electrode okay this is the electrode you have to close it to the workpiece surfaces and then touched it and separate it by a small gap that gap is around 2 to 4 mm you have to maintain the gap between the electrode and the workpiece material is around 2 to 4 mm okay and then when you have to separate it at that time the electric arc will be struck the electric arc will be generated in between the gap of the electrode and the workpiece material so this arc means electric discharge the temperature is very high that is around 5000 to 6000 degree centigrade so due to high temperature it melts the edges of the two workpiece material okay so because of the high temperature uh, the the material the workpiece edges get melted at the same time here we are using the consumable electrode this electrode is also melted okay this molten electrode is combined with the molten workpiece material so the electrode is also melted and edges of the two workpiece material also melted this molten electrode is combined with the molten workpiece material and upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint okay at the same time this flux flux is also melted and it forms the gaseous shield and it protect the molten melt pool from the atmosphere otherwise this molten metal it react with the atmosphere and it forms the oxides once uh, the oxide is formed due to the oxidation the poor quality joint will be formed or some defects will be takes place on the joint so in order to avoid that the flux will be used the main function of the flux is one is it prevent the oxidation and the removal of oxides whatever the present in the molten metal and it stabilize the electric arc and then it uh, forms the slag okay so what the material it react with the impurities whatever the present in that molten metal and it forms the slag and that slag is uh, floating at the top of the molten metal and protecting the molten metal from the atmosphere okay so and this uh, flux material it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere so so can produce the good quality of the joint okay that is the working of the um, uh, flux shielded metal arc welding okay why why, uh, why it is referred as flux shielded means the flux is coating on the electrode and this flux it forms the shield okay and the metallic electrode will be used and the electric arc is used as a heat source okay hence it is named as flux shielded metal arc welding process manual metal arc welding is nothing but the work welding is carried out manually by a human being hence it is named as manual metal arc welding process okay uh, in this welding process we are using the consumable electrode okay and the flux is coating on the electrode okay uh, the main advantages of uh, the uh, flux shielded metal arc welding process and this process is simple and inexpensive so it can easy to carry and this process is used for uh, welding ferrous and uh, non ferrous materials and also it is used in uh, job shop and field works so because it can easy to carry and then uh, this welding process it eliminates the skilled worker okay these are the advantages of the flux shielded metal arc welding process coming to the disadvantages the welding process is very slow so the welding process is very slow and uh, the electrode must be frequently uh, changed or repeatedly it can be changed because once it is consumed we need to add another one electrode so the welding process is very slow and the electrode is frequently replaced and then uh, uh, this process is uh, uh, produced the weld uh, spatter, uh, shallow penetration and cracks will be formed in this process. Okay, these are the disadvantages. Okay, and coming to the applications and this can be used for welding non-ferrous materials and then it is used in uh, building and uh, construction of bridges and uh, ship building operation and it is used in automobile industries, aerospace industries and uh, repair and maintenance work. This welding process is used. Okay. Uh, next type of uh, electric arc welding process is that is a tungsten inert gas welding process. It is also known as uh, gas tungsten arc welding process 
and this tungsten inert gas welding process it is popularly known as TIG welding okay in this process the two workpiece to be joined by the heat okay if you are going to do the welding means heat is must and pressure and filler materials are optional okay we are already discussed in the previous class okay in the tungsten inert gas welding process the two workpiece to be joined by the heat it is generated by the electric arc will be stuck between the non consumable tungsten electrode and the workpiece material in the presence of inert gases okay the electric arc will be stuck between the non consumable tungsten electrode and then the workpiece material in the presence of inert gases this inert gases it forms a gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere and it forms the joint okay that is the principle of tungsten inert gas welding process okay in this process the two workpiece to be joined by the heat is generated by the electric arc the electric arc will be struck between the non consumable tungsten electrode and then the workpiece material in the presence of inert gases so this inert gases it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere and upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint okay that is the principle of tungsten inert gas welding process in the tungsten inert gas welding process here we are using the welding torch okay this is the welding torch and the small opening will be provided through that opening we are supplying the inert gases okay so the cylinder is carrying the inert gases the commonly used inert gases are helium or argon okay the cylinder carrying the inert gases and the separate pressure regulator and flow meter will be provided to control the flow and uh, pressure of the gases okay and then the tip of the welding torch is looks like a nozzle through this nozzle we are supplying the inert gases to the welding area okay and these inert gases will be decomposes and it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere and here we are using the non consumable electrode here electrode it is not consumed it is not melted only it stabilizes electric arc and this electrode is made up of tungsten okay hence it is named as tungsten inert gas welding process okay the tungsten electrode is used and inert gases is used okay here we are not using any flux okay so instead of that flux here we are using the inert gases for protecting the molten metal from the atmosphere these inert gases will be decomposed uh, and it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere okay that is, that is the construction of the tungsten inert gas welding process and here we are using uh, ac or dc current will be supplied ac is is preferred for welding magnesium or aluminum uh, alloys can be welded and dc current is applied for uh, welding uh, stainless steel and uh, uh, copper and nickel alloys that can be welded okay uh, coming to the working initially i had to take the two metal pieces this is a work piece one and work piece two okay and then the both the work piece will be cleaned it just removing the dust particles grease oil whatever present on the surfaces just you have to remove it and then position it with the suitable gap okay and then uh, uh, you have to switch on the power source the suitable uh, ac or dc power is supplied uh, that is required for the welding process initially you have to supply it at, and at the same time you have to supply the inert gases into the welding area okay once you have to supply the electric current at that time the electric arc will be stabilized okay or the electric arc will be stuck between the non consumable tungsten electrode and the workpiece material okay the gap maintained between the electrode and the workpiece material is around 2 to 4 mm okay and then that whatever the uh, arc it is stuck between the electrode and uh, workpiece material the temperature is around 3500 degrees centigrade this temperature is very high that high temperature is sufficient to melt the edges of the metal pieces in this process here we are using the non consumable electrode so we need to fill the two metal pieces we need additional material so the separate filler material will be fed into the welding area this filler material melting temperature is less so due to high temperature it melts the edges of the two metal pieces as well as the filler material this filler material is melted this molten filler material is combined with the molten workpiece material and then upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint okay whatever the gas inert gases is supplied into the welding area this gas will be decomposed and it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere okay otherwise this molten metal is react with the atmosphere and it forms the oxides due to oxidation the poor quality and 
less uh, strength joints are formed. So, in order to avoid that, the inert gases will be supplied. This inert gases it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere. Okay, that is the working of tungsten inert gas welding process. Here, the tungsten inert gas welding means the tungsten electrode is used. It is a non-consumable electrode, and inert gases will be supplied into the welding area to protect the molten metal from the atmosphere. And here, we are using non-consumable electrode. That's why we have separate filler material will be added to fill the gap between the two metal pieces. Okay, so. In this process, we are using non-consumable electrode. The two workpieces to be joined by the heat is generated by the electric car that will be stuck between the non-consumable tungsten electrode and the workpiece material in the presence of the inert gases. And this inert gases it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere. Okay, that is the working principle of the tungsten inert gas welding process. Uh, coming to the advantages, in this process, it is suitable for welding very thin metal pieces. Okay, thin metal pieces can be welded by using the tungsten inert gas welding process and uh, clear visibility of the arc okay so you can see the electric arc generated so that the that will provide the operator to greater control over the electric arc okay so and then uh, a strong and good quality joints can be obtained in the uh, tungsten inert gas welding process and here we are not using any flux okay so there is no formation of the slag so we can produce the good uh, quality and clean joint will be formed. Okay, these are the advantages. Coming to the disadvantages, and it is a most difficult welding process compared to all other welding processes. Okay, so tungsten inert gas welding, it is the most difficult welding process compared to uh, other uh, welding processes, and it is not suitable for welding thick metal pieces. And highly skilled workers are required for producing the good quality joint. Okay, these are the disadvantages of, of the. Uh, process and uh, the process is very slow okay these are the disadvantages coming to the applications and this can be used for welding uh, thin metal pieces okay and then uh, it is used in uh, sheet metal industries okay and also it is used in uh, uh, welding stainless steel material and uh, a few non ferrous materials also welded like aluminum um, alloys and uh, nickel alloys can be welded and um, it is used in automobile industries and shipbuilding industries. This welding process is used. Okay, uh, these are the applications of the tungsten inert gas welding process. And this tungsten inert gas welding, it is popularly known as TIG welding process. Okay. Uh, next, move on to the another type of uh, electric arc welding process is metal inert gas welding process. Okay, it is popularly known as MIG welding process. Metal inert gas welding process. Okay. In this process, the two workpieces to be joined by the heat that is generated by the electric car that will be struck between the uh, consumable electrode, consumable electrode and the workpiece material in the presence of inert gases. Okay. And these inert gases, it forms the gaseous shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere and upon solidification, we will get the strong solid joint. Okay. The electric arc will be stuck between the consumable electrode and then the workpiece material in the presence of inert gases that is the principle of metal inert gas welding process in this process uh, it consists of the welding torch okay and uh, the uh, the electrode is used in the wire form okay that bare electrode is rigidly fixed into the welding torch and this electrode is continuously fed into the welding area with the help of the feed roller here the feed roller will be provided okay the electrode is used in the form of wire and this elect uh, electrode is continuously feed into the welding area with the help of the feed roller okay and then uh, the inert gases the commonly used inert gases in the mig welding process is argon or helium so separate the cylinder will be use this cylinder carrying the inert gases and separate pressure regulator and the flow meter will be provided to control the flow rate and pressure of the inert gases okay that gases will be supplied through the welding torch into the welding area when these inert gases impinge on the workpiece surfaces and it will get decomposes and it forms a gaseous shield and it protect the molten metal from the atmosphere okay uh, in this process initially we had to take the two metal pieces okay they had to take the two metal pieces and clean it okay remove the dust particles grease oil whatever present on the surfaces just you have to remove it and position it with the suitable gap okay after that the uh, a power source and the pressure regulator will be switched on so okay the current will be flowing through the electrode and the workpiece material 
initially they had to touch the electrode and separate it by a small gap at that time the electric arc will be struck between the gap of the electrode and the workpiece material that gap is around 1.52 3 mm we have to maintain the gap between the electrode consumable electrode and the workpiece material is around 1.5 to 3 mm okay at that time the electric arc will be struck okay so this arc temperature will be very high at is around 3500 degrees centigrade due to high temperature it melts the edges of the two metal pieces and this process here we are using the consumable electrode this electrode is also melted okay this molten electrode is combined with the molten workpiece material and upon solidifying we will get the strong solid joint okay here the electrode is also melted and work edges of the two metal pieces also melted this molten electrode is combined with the molten workpiece material and upon solidifying or upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint at this at the during welding process we are supplying the inert gases into the welding area this inert gases will get decomposes and it forms the gas a shield okay it covers the molten weld pool okay so uh, this gas a shield it protect the molten metal from the atmosphere otherwise this molten metal is react with the atmosphere and it forms the oxides so to prevent that the uh, this uh, inert gases it forms the uh, gas a shield and protect the molten metal from the atmosphere uh, here we are not using any filler material because uh, here we are using the consumable electrode so this electrode will be melted and it fills the gap between the two metal pieces upon cooling we will get the strong solution okay that is the working of metal inert gas welding process okay in this process the two work piece will be joined by the heat that is generated by an electric arc the electric arc will be struck between the consumable electrode and then the workpiece material in the presence of the inert gases okay this inert gases it protect the molten well pool from the atmosphere okay now uh, next coming to the advantages the major advantages of the metal inert gas welding process is it is a fast and uh, uh, economical process okay and this process can be automated and uh, it is suitable for thin and thick workpiece can be welded by using the metal inert gas welding process and a weld deposition rate will be very high in this process because continuously we are feeding the electrode into the weld area at that time the weld deposition rate will be very high okay in this process and uh, electrode and inert gases are uh, fed automatically so there is reduce, uh, reduce the burden of the operator so the operator can concentrate on the arc length okay because continuously uh, the automatically we are feeding the electrode and the, and then the uh, inert gases so it is uh, reduce the burden of the operator so the operator can co concentrate on the electric arc okay that is one of the uh, major advantages and this process is suitable for thick and thin workpiece material okay uh, next uh, the coming to the disadvantages the major major disadvantage of this process is that is the costly the equipment cost will be very high and uh, this process uh, produces the porosity problem that is a major problem in this process the, uh, the porosity because continuously we are feeding the electrode so metal uh, well deposition rate will be very high because of that the porosity problem will be takes place in this process okay uh, coming to the applications and this process is suitable for welding thick metal pieces greater than uh, 4 mm can be welded and it can be used in sheet metal industries uh, ship building and automobile industries okay this process will be used okay next move on to the difference what is the difference between that uh, tig welding and uh, mig welding process okay uh, in the tig welding process here we are using the non consumable electrode here we are using the non consumable electrode in this process we are using consumable electrode here the separate filler material will be added to fill the gap between the two metal pieces okay here electrode will not melt so in order to fill the two metal pieces the separate filler material will be added here we are not using any uh, separate filler material because the here we are using consumable electrode this electrode will be melted and fills the gap between the two metal pieces here the electrode is made up of tungsten because it is a non consumable electrode tungsten or graphite here the electrode is made up of same as the base metal okay are the same chemical composition of the workpiece material okay and this process is suitable for welding thick thin metal pieces this process suitable for welding thin metal pieces and uh, here the uh, this process is suitable for welding thick metal pieces okay thick metal pieces can be welded okay and then one is the cost here uh, the the equipment cost is less 
and here the equipment cost will be very high okay the welding equipment cost will be very high these are the major difference between the tungsten inert gas welding and metal inert gas welding okay one is the electrode okay here non consumable electrode is used here consumable electrode is used and here separate filler material will be added to fill the gap between the two metal pieces here the electrode is consumable the electrode only it is melted and fills the gap between the two metal pieces here the electrode is made up of uh, tungsten or graphite here the electrode is made up of same as the base metal and this process is suitable for uh, welding thin metal pieces and this process is suitable for welding thick metal pieces and here cost will be less and here the cost will be more the equipment cost will be more okay these are the major difference between the um, tungsten inert gas welding and metal inert gas welding okay these three welding processes are the arc welding processes here the heat source is used as a electric arc electric arc is nothing but the electric discharge okay electric arc nothing but the stream of continuous stream of electrons that will be emitted by a two conducting material electrically conducting material one is the electrode and the one is the workpiece material okay electrode forms the one pole of electric circuit and one uh, uh, workpiece it forms the another pole of electric circuit so the electric arc will be struck between the gap of the electrode and the workpiece material so this arc temperature will be very high that high temperature is sufficient to melt the edges of the two metal pieces as well as the electrode and upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint okay these are all the fusion welding process okay the workpiece will be melted into the molten state okay the two workpiece to be melted into a molten state okay and then the separate filler material will be added here the electrode is melted and it fills the gap into two metal pieces and upon cooling we will get the strong solid joint okay uh, in the next class we will discuss uh, another type of uh, arc welding process like a submerged arc welding and then the thermochemical welding process okay thank you